Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2018 Camp Light 21 BHS. It's a nice, small, lightweight, little bunk model, but really high-end quality, some excellent amenities in here. Uh, I'm excited to go ahead and go through this with you and so you can see it for yourself. Let's start right over here on the kitchen. Uh, you know, as you'd expect in a higher end travel trailer, you have solid surface countertops in here. Not only does that look great, but also it's nice and easy to clean. You don't have to worry about, you know, any kind of water damage or anything like that. Uh, as we go through with the camp light, that's part of the, the camp light and living light story is no wood, no rot. So you'll see as we go through, they try to eliminate as much wood as they can with still having a nice residential uh, homey feeling in the campers here. But decent countertop space, especially because they give you a sink top cover here as well as the cooktop cover over here. So you are able to utilize all of this. If we take the sink top cover off, you will see the single bowl undermount stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet. Uh, you know, they could have went with the big double bowl sink in here and the, the three burner cooktop, but I think it really would have minimized a lot of your prep surface. Um, you know, so I do like the fact they stuck with what they did. That way you kind of have permanent spot right in here. You know, myself, this is probably where I'd put my coffee maker would be right back here. Uh, over to the side, as I mentioned, this is your two burner cooktop. When I lift this up, that will reveal those two burners. Then you also kind of have the glass there as a backsplash, makes it uh, pretty easy to clean. Granted, you know, this right here is glass as well, but you know, it's a little more decorative. This is probably slightly easier to clean on there. But this is cool. You know, it gives it that nice little pop and appeal here in the kitchen. You also have the blue LED rope lighting there, as well as that same LED lighting underneath your countertops. Uh, if you're not a fan of that lighting, you can certainly turn it off. You don't have to use it. Uh, but, you know, again, I think it's just uh, one of those nice little, um, you know, aesthetics. How it kind of helps it pop a little. Right here in the kitchen also, you will notice your windows. Helps bring in some natural light during the day. The windows in here are kind of cool. You have a polycarbonate window uh, that basically swings out. And then for options, you have a couple different things you can do here with the blinds. The first one, if you pull it down, you have a shade. This gives you privacy, pretty simple. If you pull that up, that gives you a screen. So you tilt that window open, now you have a screen, air is coming in, bugs are not. And then also if you want, you can disconnect these two right here, separate them, then you can open up that window and if you wanna you know, stick your hand through there, you can do that. But just again, remember, you know, your mosquitoes and bugs, flies, everything else are going to be able to enter as well. Uh, if we take a look right up top, you do see you have an LED light there. So if you need some uh, extra lighting at night, uh, that will provide it. And you actually have LED lights throughout the whole RV, which are really nice. They don't put out near the heat, use a fraction of the power. If we take a look right down here, you will see uh, the majority of your controls are down here. Well, your lights at least, you can see the lights right there. Um, this light right here is actually your main light. This one is the one, you know, they, they made it nice and blue. That's your accent light, so pretty easy to remember. Then power awning right here, as I uh, talked about to move that in and out. Right above that is your multimedia center. Uh, cool thing about this, this is a radio and CD player. It controls the speakers in here as well as your speakers outside. That's also a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie that is already connected to the TV, all you have to do is put a DVD in and you're good to go. And then right over here, you can see you have some good storage. Uh, you know, this gives you access to the storage underneath the sink there and then some storage down below there too. Making our way back around, right over here, we'll open up this storage down below. Again, same access point right over here. Uh, to the storage we saw on the side, some additional storage in here. I would probably use this as pantry storage or uh, pots and pans. It's a great fit place for pots and pans to go there too. Then right underneath, you have your water pump. Uh, I do like the fact they made it very easily accessible. It's generally one of the things that go wrong, probably one of the first things that go wrong on your RV, so you wanna make sure you have access to that for any kind of repairs or in the event you have to replace it. Right up top here, open this guy up for you. You see a uh, nice big pantry storage right up there. So anything that you need to you know, store food wise, this is the, the majority of the storage you have in the kitchen in this floor plan. It is strut assisted, so it's very easy to get into. It does have the blue light, you know, kind of back there for the accents again, and the nice decorative glass on the front too. Right over next to that is your convection microwave. The thing I like about this is that it's kind of a, a two in one, right? Uh, rather than having your oven down below, they, they put the convection in here, which I like, because that gives you all this extra storage down here. 
Plus the convection cooks nice and fast, it generally cooks faster than your standard oven, plus it's easier to clean. But speaking of all that storage, not only do you have the storage underneath the countertop I showed you, but take a look at this. You have three very large full extension ball bearing drawers here. So not only do you have room for your silverware and all of your larger utensils, but then you have a third one there for you know hot pads, uh, if you need a catch all drawer, whatever else you may need in the kitchen, uh, you do have that. As far as electrical outlets, I forgot to mention right here, uh, you do have an electrical outlet, so if you need to plug in, you know, coffee maker or uh, blender or anything like that, uh, that'll probably be the place you plug it in at. Slide room control is directly underneath that. Making our way back a little bit further, uh, right back here, let me turn this light on, it's kind of dark up here, uh, but right back here are your two uh, bunks. You know, this is a bunk model, Teddy Bear Bunk Series, nice and soft in here. You'll see you have a window on both the top and bottom there. You'll also notice the electrical outlet right on the bottom there too. So if your kids need to plug in electronics, that is the place they will do it. Uh, you know, they may fight a little over who gets the who gets the electrical outlet, but at least they put one back here. You know, I know that most of us go camping to get away from electronics, but uh, you know, I can speak from experience. On a rainy day, it is really nice letting them, let them that, letting them can't talk today, uh, be able to play with those electronics. It will certainly save you from pulling all your hair out and a stressful vacation. Uh, before we go in the bathroom, I do want to talk about the rest of the kitchen here, and that is your fridge freezer combo. As I open this up, you can take a, a look right in there. Plenty of space here. It is set back a little ways off the kitchen, but that's because we have a big U dinette. I'll show you in a little bit. Uh, plus, you know, if the kids need to get in there for a quick late night snack that is nice and close to them. Uh, also, this unit does run off both propane and electric, also has automatic switchover. Right up top, you see a little bit of additional storage there, probably a good place for some snacks. Thermostat right over here on the side, that will control your furnace. The AC is actually has the controls on the AC unit itself. Let's take a quick look at the bathroom. Right down below here in the bathroom, you have your foot flush lever toilet. Even though it does add a little bit of weight, they went with a porcelain bowl because it's a lot easier to clean, higher quality. I think it was definitely a good choice here. Uh, if we take a look up on the sidewall, you will see that this is where your tank monitoring panel is. This was so you can check all the levels of your, you know, fresh gray black tank, your battery levels. And then also this is where you'll turn on your water pump if you need to pump out of your fresh tank and also your water heater. What you'll notice is that this one, the water heater on this unit will run off both propane and electric and you can turn both of those on at the same time for faster recovery. Then over to this side here is the shower. Uh, you have a nice decorative shower curtain on there. Decent space, it's actually a pretty good sized shower there. It's not your standard Neo angle. Uh, you'll see you have the hand wand in there as well as an additional skylight up above. And next to that, you have a nice big vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. Now, one of my favorite parts about this floor plan is right over here, and that is the large slide out U dinette. Uh, first off, I really like the color patterns in here. Both the backs and the seats are this nice leatherette, so it's super easy to clean and it's a nice light clean color. Then they accented it with these little throw pillows here in the corner. You have the all green side or the decorative side here. Uh, but you know, again, it's, it's not something you see often in the RV industry, it's just a nice clean look. So I really do like that. The other thing is when you have a family, a U dinette is awesome. That way you can sit everyone around here, play games together, eat a meal together. Uh, and if you have guests that wanna spend the night, this does drop down into a bed. Uh, it's pretty simple, you just remove this leg you basically twist it out of the bottom, pull it out of the top here. This table will then sit along these aluminum rails and then you will take the back cushions, put them on top and that will create your extra sleeping space. The other cool thing about it is this right here. Take a look at all the storage underneath. They have a door so it's nice and easy to get at and you have uh, storage from the door all the way back to the wall on both sides. Now I do get some people that ask me why the, why the dinette here is raised up uh, and it's pretty simple. A lot of your lightweight models will have a raised slide because they're trying to keep it low to the ground. You know, this is a lighter weight model that comes in, uh, you know, I think right around 3,800 pounds. And so you probably won't be towing it with a half ton pickup or three quarter ton truck. And so when you have a smaller vehicle, you want it sitting lower to the ground. You, you know, you don't want all that wind resistance. So for me, I would much rather have better towability than have a flush floor slide. Because if they make it flush floor, all they literally do is raise up the bottom of the RV to meet this level right here, which will then raise the entire height. So that is uh, basically why. Right down here on the side, you'll also see you have an electrical outlet as well as dual USB port there. So if you need to plug in a laptop or tablet, you know, if you're one of the lucky ones that get to work on the road, uh, you can plug it in right there. 
My only big complaint about this thing at all, and you know, I'm going to be honest with you, and I, I hopefully the manufacturer will fix this, is the table itself. It is a little wobbly here. Uh, not that it's terrible, but you know, for me, I especially with little ones, you know, they tend to push on the table a lot, and this one just kind of wobbles, and I could see some some issues happening there. Uh, but overall, again, I love the slide out dinette here. You'll also see the big window lets in a ton of natural light in this floor plan, which is awesome, makes it nice and bright. If we take a quick look at the ceiling, you do have a couple speakers up here. You also have your vent fan. This is really nice if you don't want to run the AC. You can open the windows up, uh, turn this guy on, get some nice cross ventilation. Or if you cook some bacon, need the smell to get out quick, that will help you there as well. The AC here, as I previously mentioned, the controls are right on the AC itself. Uh, because it is a little bit uh, lower ceiling, it's not like you're in a fifth wheel or anything, this, these are nice and easy to get to. The TV in this camper is right over here. Uh, as I previously mentioned, that is hooked up to your multimedia center, so if you want to watch a movie, you can do that here. It's on a swing arm scissor style mount, so you know whether you want it, uh, kind of the angle it is right now to watch it in the kitchen or in the U-Dinette, or you can turn it you know, kind of like so, so you're able to watch it in the bedroom as well. Um, I did lay down just to kind of take a quick angle and it's actually not nearly as bad as I thought. I thought it'd be a really sharp angle, but it's not. It's actually quite comfortable uh, to watch the TV there from in bed. On both sides of the bed, you will see you have windows again for that cross ventilation as well as natural light. The bed itself is a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. That's huge when you're talking about uh, travel trailers. You know, a lot of people are taller, their feet are hanging off the bed. Uh, you know, you see a uh, camper queen is usually about six to eight inches shorter than your residential. So I really like the fact they went with a residential queen size bed. Uh, also on both sides here, you have some nice nightstands. Uh, the one side, you have an electrical outlet. You have this little switch here too, which gives you an accent light uh, on the headboard there. The other side has uh, one standard outlet and then dual USB port. So it's a little more dedicated um, you know, to charging your electronics. Then on both sides of the bed, you have wardrobe storage. So good spot to hang your clothes. And then right up top here, again, the nice decorative glass. I like the brush nickel pulls here too. They're round, just very easy to, to grab and hold onto. You'll see these struts there, strut supported. So that um, is very easy to access that storage as well. And underneath our queen bed here, you have storage there too. It is strut uh, assisted, so it is easy to lift up as well as lower back down. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features of the Live and Light 21 BHS. We'll start right up front here on the power tongue jack. Again, something you would hope you have on a quality trailer, and they definitely delivered. It's nice and easy to use. Just flip a switch to raise and lower the tongue there. Then you have a light on front uh, in case you need a little bit extra visibility at night. Right behind that are your two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover. Very easy to access those two. Just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door, and you are down and in. Then behind that, you'll see the rails for your battery here. Notice that it is a nice big rail system. So if you need to have a couple batteries, you can certainly do that. Now, especially if you plan to do some boondocking where you don't have shore power, that extra battery power can definitely come in handy. Uh, right underneath that, you see this spare tire. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's a nice peace of mind knowing it is right there for you. Also, something very unique about Live and Light and Camp Light, you know, as I mentioned when we were inside, uh, they try to use aluminum and Asdell wherever they can, and they give you an aluminum frame on here, which I think is awesome. It still has excellent uh, structural integrity, it's lighter weight, and it won't rust out on you, which is huge. So uh, definitely give them props for giving you the aluminum frame. Coming up the front, here's black diamond plating. Uh, this will help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. As we walk around to the side, you can see your vacuum bond laminated sidewalls here. Uh, this one obviously has the blue exterior. One of the cool things about Living Light though, again, you know, I mentioned they tried not to use a lot of wood. So rather than having a Luon backer, which is essentially a plywood, they instead put Asdell, uh, the Asdell composite panels behind it. Asdell has a couple big advantages. One, it's lighter weight. Two, it won't absorb moisture, so it will eliminate the majority of your delamination problems so you don't get the big bubbles here. Uh, and lastly, it doesn't have off-gassing, so if you're a little more sensitive to smells, you don't have to worry about it here in the living light. Take a look at the pass-through. Notice the big wide door, so if you have, you know, like executive chairs or grills or things that need to go in there, it is nice and big. 
You also have a covered hinge, so you don't have a bunch of rust coming down the door, and a magnetic latch. So, you know, for the kids, you don't have a plastic tabernacle that's going to break off. You just put it up there and forget it. The kids slam it shut. No harm, no foul. Take a look in the pass through itself. You'll see it is nice and open. Again, you can see it's the same size door on the off door side, so it's easy to get into. You have LED lights on both sides, so no matter what door you get into, if you're in, getting in there at night, you can see. You'll also notice the uh, aluminum structure in here, the Asdell panel right over there. And then on this side here, you will notice the uh, battery disconnect. So that way it is nice and easy uh, to kill power. You don't have to constantly get into the battery box. Just flip that switch and it kills all power. Also, slam latch baggage door. Nice and easy. You know, you definitely have to love that. Making our way down a little bit further, you have a power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. Uh, nice thing about a power awning is it's just easy. It's a single person setup. You don't have to have a couple people out here monkeying with it. And you know, most of your higher end travel trailers come with a power awning standard, and this one is no exception. And as you would expect, underneath that, you also have an LED light strip. So if you want light at night, you can flip that on. You don't have to worry about getting up there and hanging up your Christmas lights. Getting into the 21 BHS is very simple. You have two foldable aluminum steps here with the uh, grip strip on there, as well as the foldable grab handle right here. So that way you do have good control when entering or exiting the RV. And also the aluminum steps themselves there won't rust out on you. Making our way back a little bit further, right here is your gravity fill. So if you want to fill up your water tank, that's the place to do it there. And then a little bit further back, TV hookups. You have a cable outlet right here as well as your electrical outlet. So if you want to hook up outside TV, this is where it goes. And if, obviously if you need to plug in any other electronics, you can plug anything into there. Uh, if you take a look at the wheels down here, Cool thing about this, you have aluminum alloy wheels. Again, they won't rust, plus they look awesome. Uh, nitrogen filled tires on there to help retain your tire pressures for a longer period of time. Very important. You always want to make sure you check your tire pressures with any RV before each and every trip. Uh, also, the axles on here are Dexter axles. Uh, they are easy lube axles and they have self adjusting brakes, which is definitely a big plus on the maintenance side. It makes things way easier for you. Now, if you take a look right in between there, you'll see the suspension on. Here's your More Ride CRE 3000 suspension system, which gives you three inches of travel. Excellent suspension system on a travel trailer. High, highly recommend it. Uh, definitely makes your tow experience a lot smoother. If we take a look up top here underneath the power awning, you see your two outside speakers. Those are controlled by your multimedia center inside there, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. Uh, two windows right here, as I mentioned, these are your polycarb windows there, but you have a window on both the top and bottom. Those are your bunks. Right down here is your Suburban six gallon water heater. As I had previously mentioned, that one does run off both propane and electric. We come around to the back, you see the nice aluminum bumper on here. That'll stay looking sharp for, uh, you know, pretty much forever. Again, doesn't rust. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access. If you have to get at one, it is nice to have the hot water right there. If we take a look up top, you see the backup camera prep. Uh, the nice thing about backup camera prep is essentially at this point, all you have to do is buy the Furion camera and it is a plug and play. What that means for you is that it is a lot less expensive to have that installed. So if you don't have a good spotter or maybe you just want that extra visibility to make sure you don't hit anything or anyone, I do recommend uh, having the backup camera installed. Coming around to the off door side, a couple quick things over here. This will be your city water inlet. This unit does have a black tank flush here as well. So uh, rather than having to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank, you can now hook the hose up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. Directly underneath that is your termination. You'll see your gray valve right here, the black right over there to the side. Uh, you'll also notice that the majority of your vents are here, refrigerator vent and furnace vent. That way uh, your campsite is nice and open. You don't have a bunch of hot air blowing on you. You also see right here is your cable inlet. This is where it'll come in at. Uh, 30 amp detachable power cord will plug right into there. One of the things I do want to talk about, uh, take a look at this. On this slide out, it comes with a slide out topper. That's really convenient as well. Uh, that way you don't have to constantly get up there and clean off the top of the slide out. You can just roll that in. Any sticks or acorns or pine cones or whatever else that fell on top of the slide will just roll right off that topper. Uh, again, you know, trying to make the maintenance side of things a little bit easier. 
As we make our way up front here, you'll see right underneath, because this one doesn't have your standard square, uh, you know, tubular steel bumper uh, to put your sewer hose in, they give you this guy right here, which is still nice and convenient, so you can just slide your sewer hose right in there. You don't have to throw it in your pass-through with all uh, everything else. Lastly, right up front here, this one is equipped with uh, solar prep. So if you want solar, all you have to do is buy the portable Furion panels, plug them in right there, and it will start to trickle charge your battery. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Camp Light 21 BHS. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.